With Apple creating extremely powerful tablets that are portable and sophisticated in design, and with their sleek pencils as a plus, we saw a lot of artists flock to these devices, using them as their portable digital art setup that can do just as well as their full setup at home. With this new phenomenon, it was only a matter of time before a lot of powerful drawing apps started popping here and there in the App Store. And in our video today, we will explore some of the best apps for all of your drawing needs on your iOS device. Stick around! One simply cannot talk about iOS drawing devices without mentioning what is arguably known as the pioneer of it all. It's true, there have been plenty of other apps for this purpose way before Procreate. However, Procreate has taken the world by storm for its revolutionary ease of use and compactness. If you don't already know, Procreate is a drawing, painting, and 3D model painting software app developed by Savage Interactive. It's available on iOS devices, with a version specifically made for small mobile devices called Procreate Pocket. The software costs around 10 US dollars. Procreate is pretty straightforward at presenting its tools, and since it's designed for mobile devices, we can see why the developers took that approach. After all, saving space is key. Procreate has many brushes, from those that mimic an oil brush feel to those for inking and sketching. These brushes are customizable, and if that's not enough for you, you can also download brushes. Other tools in the app include, but are not limited to, smudge tool, eraser, color selector, transformation tools, and so on and so forth. Every basic painting and drawing tool is covered by the app, plus some unique features, like automatic time-lapse videos of your art. Procreate can literally be the only app you have on your iPad for painting and drawing, and you would have everything you need. Following Procreate's boom in the art community, Adobe tried their hands at a similar software model and came up with Fresco. Previously, Adobe had two apps for drawing and painting, Adobe Photoshop Sketch and Illustrator Draw. Adobe then took these two software, combined them, and they became Adobe Fresco. The main difference between Procreate and Fresco is how Fresco can be used on both iPads and Wacom devices, whether attached to a computer or not. So. You can start your work on your iPad while you're out, and then later boot up your computer and put the final touches there. Fresco offers you a variety of both raster and vector brushes, in addition to layers, motion tools, text options, liquify effects, transformation tools, all in a simplistic interface with all the essentials you need. The interface is even customizable if you feel like it doesn't quite suit you. Art Studio is a raster graphics editor developed by Lucky Clan and costs around 5 US dollars. This app is the legacy version of Art Studio Pro for other iOS devices. The app is versatile with its tools. It has plenty of brushes and pens to choose from, a gradient tool, a text feature with over 150 system fonts, and support for external TTF fonts. There's a plethora of other features like clone, heal, blur, sharpen, dodge, and burn effects alongside other basic tools such as the eyedropper. Okay, you splurged enough on an iPad and an Apple Pencil and those cost you an arm and leg and you can't or don't want to spend further on an app. It's fairly reasonable, and you are lucky we have Medibang Paint to offer such a great drawing and painting software for free. Medibang Paint allows you to paint and draw with its huge variety of brushes, from oil brushes to sketching brushes. The app has everything you need to make a drawing or a painting. It even has plenty of features for comic and manga drawing. If you would like to unlock more resources in the app, all you have to do is create an account, and you would have cloud storage space available to save your drawing as well as other resources, such as more brushes to work with. Speaking of cloud storage, you can save your drawing on the drive and then boot up your computer and use the desktop version of the app to continue your painting or drawing. Medibang Paint also offers a premium version, and the main difference between a premium version and a regular version is that you won't have to deal with ads. So if you like what you see with Medibang Paint, be sure to get the premium version for an ideal experience. 
if we want to compare Clip Studio Paint to any other app, it would be Medibank Paint. The two apps have a very similar look, feel, and purpose, so to say. The main difference would be that Clip Studio Paint seems to be a lot more known and anchored in the art community. And just like Medibang Paint, Clip Studio Paint is designed with both illustrators and comic artists, and even animators in mind, and hosts a variety and diversity of its tools and features. A main difference between Medibang and Clip Studio Paint is how the latter is not free from the get-go. Clip Studio Paint is home to a variety of brushes and pens to choose from and which are customizable to fit your needs. It also has a unique feature where you can use 3D models and view it in the software as a reference for your work. And if you're a comic artist who's on the rush, the software has an automatic AI colorization, which colors your drawing for you to help you save time. Speaking of comics, if you find Inkin to be challenging, Clip Studio Paint offers a pen stabilizer to help you smooth your lines and avoid shakiness, plus the ability to customize brushes to fit your specific needs. And just like Medibank Paint, you can switch from mobile to tablet and even to PC and continue your work smoothly and swiftly. The user interface is unified, so don't worry about any learning curve or confusion. All of the previously mentioned apps lean more into the complex side of things, with multiple features and tools that help you make full-blown illustrations and comics. But if you want something more simple for fun doodles and sketches, you might want to take a look at concepts. With an aesthetically pleasing interface and presentation, a variety of sketching and drawing brushes, an infinite canvas with multiple paper types, lined or dotted paper for instance, the grids and colors presented using the Copic color system, the app clearly shows you that it's meant for light sketching and brainstorming with an aesthetically pleasing touch. Concepts is free to use and a wonderful app for your sketching and brainstorming needs. Autodesk Sketchbook might as well be Concept's brother. Just like Concepts, it's incredibly minimalistic and focuses on sketching and brainstorming. However, it's unlike Concepts in how it has a crude and simple presentation with a white background and black lines interface. The app has brushes and pen tools which are customizable, rulers, layers with blending modes, and many more tools. The app has got you covered for sketching and drawing. Sketchbook is also free. Hooray! Inspire Pro is another iOS exclusive drawing and painting app developed by Snow Kanoe. Something like that. I'm surely butchering the name, but hey. Gosh, I'm loving these names so much! Anyways, the app is very reminiscent of Procreate in presentation, and it also follows the one-time purchase model with access to every future update with no need for a subscription. This app is unlike some of the aforementioned apps in the way it's focused on drawing and painting, and so it offers a lot more tool variety. The app has a plethora of brushes from oils to charcoal brushes, and which are all customizable to your needs. You can undo and redo your actions up to a thousand times. You can also have a time-lapse video of your process automatically recorded and so much more for about 20 US dollars. If you have ever wanted to get the most natural and traditional feel while drawing and painting on your iPad, you would be missing out if you don't have Artset 4 installed on your device. This app has a wide range of brushes from oils to watercolors, and which all act and feel just like the real deal as they dynamically interact with the canvas. Some of the app's features include, but are not limited to, a blur filter with a beautiful presentation of the colors of each medium, which includes a dazzling array of metallic colors. Not to mention the automatic time-lapse video recording of your work, and finally, the ability to export what you made as a PSD file. All of these features and more are available on the app. And even more exciting is that the app is free. It's worth noting that a lot of features are locked behind a paywall, but it won't hurt to try the app's free features and go from there. Serif Labs brings us the app version of their desktop software, Affinity Designer, to the App Store. This app is one of the most versatile apps you can ever have on your iPad. 
It tackles everything from graphic design to illustration and concept creation. The app has plenty of tools, from brushes and pens that can be stabilized to produce smooth lines and which are customizable to node tools, as the app works with vectors and allows you to switch between raster and vector seamlessly. Affinity Designer also allows you to save your work in a plethora of formats. All of these versatile features and more for about 20 US dollars. That's it for our video today. We hope you found the app that suits your needs. Make sure to let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.